As a dealer, contractor, installer, it is my sincere desire to help you, the viewer, the customer, the homeowner, with your residential garage door needs. But sometimes, the guy before me has no such desire. For example, when I get into a job, I find that the garage door opener motor that has been installed is not properly aligned. Additionally, there could be poor balance to the garage door, there could be something wrong with the cables, there could be a number of issues that the guy before me did not identify, nor care to. That's why in this video, we're gonna highlight some pro tips that'll help you, the customer, the homeowner, identify these issues beforehand with your dealer contractor. And at the same time, provide you some compelling reasons why maybe your dealer contractor should just say no. Let's party. Ooh, Hey party people, we're meeting for the first time. My name is Santiago from SOS Garage Door Service and on this channel, we provide you pro tips and tech reviews for your residential garage door needs. So I wanna start off this video by saying that I don't wanna focus on any race, cultural background, uh, color, gender, or any of those types of aspects when addressing these issues in this video. The reason being is because people are people. People have expectations, people have desires, people have certain goals, and thus approaching any type of situation that is for any type of home service business, you wanna think about the person. You wanna think about the wonderful party people that are out there right now trying to find a good electrician or a great plumber or even a competent and caring garage door contractor. Now, I'm not saying that these aspects should be completely excluded. They are important when identifying the needs of a customer. But what I am saying here is they should not be the focal point. That is a preconceived notion based on these aspects on how you will treat your customer or the person that has a specific need. And thus being able to do that, I feel, I believe, is a good start. Now, the whole premise behind this video is that I recently did a job for a customer that had a number of issues with regards to their garage door motor installation. In fact, the customer had mentioned that he had the dealer contractor come out at least a couple of times to try and rectify some issues that they did not address on the initial visit. And then after that, completely ghost them. Now, I'm not saying that this exclusively happens to the garage door industry because I believe it happens in most all industries. But the point that I'm trying to highlight here is that customers should do their due diligence in talking with the dealer contractor and ask them not just about the immediate needs, but all the future needs or potential needs that their garage door system or any type of home repair service system requires. Again, not just now, but now and even 10 years from now or perhaps even 20 years from now. Thus, the experience that I wanted to transmit here when I got to the customer's home is that, yeah, there was definitely a lot of issues, some things that I wanted to identify right then and there and simply help him understand, hey, you could do something now or you could do nothing now. Regardless, your situation is not great, but in the future, it's going to get a lot worse. Gratefully, the customer respected that and it allowed him to make a sound decision after I provided him a fair price on being able to rectify that situation. Of course, that would not have been the case if I did not highlight those issues beforehand. Now, you're probably asking yourself, now, why didn't that happen with the guy before me? Honestly, I don't want to speak for that dealer contractor because I don't know all the situation. I don't know what he had to face or what he had to confront going into that home. All I simply know is that the job was left a certain way. Like, for example, these brackets right here, these are were the brackets that were utilized to hang the garage door opener motor. Now, if you've seen my channel and you know how I am, I'm, I'm pretty uh, a stickler about hanging a garage, a garage door opener motor with proper punch angle. You'll notice that this is not proper punch angle. What is this in fact? What is it that we're looking at right here? What is this type of tech that we're seeing, this type of metal piece? It's actually a garage door door flag. Now, 
Now again, I don't want to speak bad about anyone, but this is clearly not the best use case of a garage door door flag or being able to use any type of bracket that is to hang a garage door opener motor. You could probably deduce or say that maybe this was all that he had. And I do believe that to be the case because this was intentional. That is, these were cut. These are a lot longer, but having to cut these or perhaps maybe thinking, you know what? I don't want to spend the money right now for punch angle, perforated angle brackets because it's just too expensive I'm just gonna go ahead and cut these door flags and use these and again he made that choice that's his prerogative not talking bad about him that's just something that perhaps as a dealer contractor myself I would not have done Therefore, it would have been important for the homeowner to have identified that with the dealer contractor. He would have identified, now, are those the exact brackets or those don't necessarily look proper for my garage door opener motor to hang in. Quite frankly, as I align myself here to the garage door, I see that the motor is not necessarily straight. Would that have caused perhaps maybe some contention or some issue with the garage door contractor and the customer? Yes, but for good reason, because again, the customer is simply identifying him as a person, his needs, his expectations with regards to what his garage door requires. And it's pretty much at that point that the dealer contractor has an opportunity to say, you know what, you're right, I don't have the right parts, let me go get the parts, let me make this right for you, or this is all I have, this is as good as it gets based on the price. I don't know what the situation was, but it was an opportunity for both the homeowner and for both the dealer contractor to not only be able to do what is right, but to be able to see the expectations of the people, to be able to understand the reasoning, to be able to quantify, okay, so what's the method to your madness? And at that point, decide, well, should we move forward or not? In that regard, as dealer contractors, it's important to also understand that maybe if you're going into a situation that you don't have the right tools, that you don't have the right equipment, that you don't have the right skill to help out this homeowner, to help out a customer, then it's okay to say no. It's okay to simply say, you know what? I see the person, I see your expectations, I see your desire, and thus I realize and I recognize that I may not be the person to help you out. Therefore, let me see if I can find someone for you or I encourage you to check out this other person or this other outfit or whatever be the case. Dealer contractors, it's okay to say no. It doesn't mean you're less. In fact, it allows the customer to see, you know what, this guy did the right thing for me. Being able to identify, again, me, my needs, my expectations, my wants, so that I'm able to handle and take care of my garage door situation. Of course, party people, that's how I think. And as you know, the pro tips, techniques, and ideas in this video should not be considered law or infallible. Why? Well, because I'm nobody. But at the same time, it's important for you to understand your garage door needs and how we've been talking about through this entire video, your garage door circumstances and identifying them beforehand, before the work is done. And if you don't care to do those things completely, then reach out to a good, competent contractor because that's what we're there for. Now, I know that YouTube is going to suggest this video right here, but I'm actually going to suggest this video right here on some of the benefits of going with a high cycle torsion spring. As always, I want to thank you all for parting with me. Y'all stay safe. Just keep getting